Come back. Well, when Kate Hill finally fell pregnant with her first child, she had no idea she was about to create medical history. Because Kate fell pregnant not once, but twice, almost two weeks apart. A rare conception that's only been recorded by doctors ten times before anywhere in the world. David Richardson has more. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia's, she's pretty loud, but um, Charlotte is the demanding one. <laughs> yeah. Little miracles, eh? They are. They are definitely little miracles. <laughs> Non-identical twins who have baffled and amazed doctors rewritten Australian medical history. Twins are so rare. There've only been a handful of cases like theirs anywhere in the world. We actually didn't realise how special that was. Um, until they were born. Kate and Peter Hill always planned on a family, but in 2006, Kate was told she had a serious problem. I've got polycystic um, ovarian syndrome, so PCOS, um, and I wasn't ovulating, so we were not um, conceiving. <laughs> she was put on hormones to boost her chances of conceiving, and she and Peter only had unprotected sex once. <laughs> It was enough, but just once, and you got lucky. <laughs> Hold one, maybe. <laughs> Kate conceived twins, but one baby didn't develop. Then incredibly, 10 days later, while pregnant, she conceived again. I ovulated again. Usually a woman doesn't ovulate once they fall pregnant with all the hormones. Um, but Charlotte was coming no matter what, so she was there. Oh, I was shocked. Shocked and happy, of course. <laughs> Kate's conception is an extremely rare event called superfetation, even more rare in this case because there was only one moment of intercourse. So we've got two separate conception dates. Mm -hmm. Were you given two delivery dates? We were, yes. yes Ten we days were. apart? Ten days apart, yes. Never, ever seen it before. How rare is a pregnancy like this? So rare that I could not find any literature in the medical review websites at all. Kate's obstetrician, Dr Brad Armstrong, from Greenslope's private hospital, turned to Google to try to work out what was going on. He's become one of a handful of doctors in the world to witness superfetation in a patient. You can see a much larger foetus here, which, which is viable. It's, it's got the heartbeat heart, yeah. just there. Wow. And then separate to that is, a, is another sac and another fetus just here. As I said, I had, I had to go and Google it. From the prospect of perhaps never conceiving to falling pregnant twice at once, Kate gave birth to non-identical twins, Charlotte and Olivia. This historic delivery captured by Australian birth photographer of the year, Selena Rollison, the girls arriving two days before a planned caesarean section, both fine and healthy. Ten months on, these girls couldn't be more different, even having totally different blood types. Charlotte's negative and, and Olivia's positive, so it's a very odd... <laughs> it is very odd. <laughs> the Hills are now planning their daughter's first birthday party, having fallen into a nice normal routine now for a family that has made pregnancy history. You going to have any more? <laughs> I haven't fully decided yet. Pete hasn't played a side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> um, well, yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs>